Tyson's loved ones will gather today for his funeral. Tyson is the man who died while in the custody of Canton police last month. Candace Hare joins us live from Canton this morning with the latest on today's service. Good morning, Candace. Good morning, Danita. Yes, 11.30 a.m. That is when Frank Tyson's funeral services are expected to begin here behind me at Hear the Word Ministries here in Canton. Reverend Al Sharpton is expected to give the eulogy. Uh, Frank Tyson was only 53 years old. Uh, police body cam footage that was released by the Canton Police Department shows that his final words were, I can't breathe. In the weeks since Tyson's death, his family have been calling for justice, answers, and and accountability. They called the video footage of him heartbreaking and they say they want everyone across America to see it. It's unfortunate that Frank was not protected and you will not have an opportunity to hear his testimony. No, no one had enough love in their heart to help that man. They watched him. Why? Because he was black. I got a problem with this. But watching that video is heartbreaking. Look great, Jerry. We got you, man. But everybody, uh. justice is for him. Justice for Frank Tyson. Justice for Frank Tyson. Now, at last check, both of the Canton police officers involved have been placed on administrative leave while BCI investigates. That is standard protocol. Uh, coming up, we will hear what Reverend Al Sharpton has to say about Frank Tyson's death ahead of his expected appearance later today. Danita. All right, Candace, thank you so much.